Hi there, I'm Andrew, you're watching that Gamer Ajax, and we are going to be back talking about Veil of the Void, although this time this is going to be discussing the Reforged Edition, which is now the base way to play the game. I've been playing this game for about two years now. I was an original backer for the initial Kickstarter back when the game was first coming out. I backed it again to get this, uh, this new Reforged Edition, and I wanted to kind of highlight some of my five key takeaways from what is new with the game and why I think that this is honestly the best version of the game that you can be playing if it's one that you're interested in. So let's go ahead and get this uh, started off with talking about the new player options that are currently available. So when it comes to the base version of Veil of the Void, there were a grand total of eight playable species and nine classes that you could do. With the Reforged Edition, there is now a new additional species that's been added to it with the Dull Kindreth, which are kind of like, almost like energy vampires. They have to kind of satiate themselves through other life forces and energies uh, through touch. Now this makes it kind of an interesting dynamic as a player because if you don't satiate yourself um, from any particular reason, uh, you are going to start incurring really bad negatives to it. So as somebody that really enjoys role playing, especially when you have something that is so easy to work with right in front of you, this is one of the species that is instantly calling to me as a player. Now, along with this, there has been a new class that has been added in terms of the Architect. If you're familiar with the Artificer that recently came into Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, this is essentially the same thing, though you focus a little bit more on mechanics and robotics rather than um, magical tinkering, really. Now, you'll have to stay tuned for a little bit later when I do a more in-depth guide uh, regarding the Architect, but essentially the way that this class works is that you focus on collecting scrap and then using that to build a wide variety of items and all kinds of crafting. Like, if you are a player that is interested in getting really into a crafting system, the Architect is going to be the way that you want to go. There's also been a lot of rule clarity when it comes to Veil of the Void Reforge. I know that one of the things that I was particularly confused about were uh, critical hits and misses. Uh, that has been spelled out a lot better with this new version of the game, and it also better clarifies as to how auto hit and auto miss die work. Now, what this essentially means is that when you're making your check, you're rolling all those d6s. These are just kind of uh, added on separately. They don't uh, really factor in the amount that you're rolling. So that's been something that has really been a great clarification. There's also been a lot of added uh, equipment and traits that you're able to pick up uh, in the form of expertise. Uh, these work a lot like feats in Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, though there are a lot more of them that are available and they're much easier to get than uh, how it works in D&D. &D. Uh, something that I, as a GM, really appreciate is the amount of effort that was put in to the new crafting rules that have been added into the game. I've had a player that was interested in getting really into the nitty gritty of crafting basically since we started our campaign nearly two years ago. And let me tell you that the way that these are now is gonna make it so much easier for us to work with it. I had actually asked my player if we could you know, hold off until these new rules came out. And now that they are here, I'm really glad with the amount of effort that the team behind Veil of the Void put into making sure these are really, really spelled out. For the third point that I really want to highlight is the amount of expanded lore that has been added into this book. And there, there's more details in terms of how everything in this game works between uh, the gods that are there, which they take the form of aspects, the forces of evil, um, more creatures have been added into the uh, essentially monster manual for this game. There's new details on the different species, their views on magic, their home worlds, how every, all their societies work. It is amazing how much more is there and there's even a new official galaxy map if that's something that you are interested in running your campaign in it is there and it, sh it just shows you where everything is in terms of one another it is a fantastic tool and i know that i will be implementing this a little bit better into my home game as we move forward the fourth major highlight that we have are the new toys that are available now this comes in the forms of weapons equipment and even expanded ships and now there are even mechs that your players can purchase and pilot in the game each of the different types of mechs have their own stat block this is a major thing that I know that my players are very excited for. And personally, I'm really excited to throw some at them. Uh, there are also some new rules in terms of ships that just better explains how everything works. Let me tell you, as somebody that has done a lot of homebrew for this game, uh, both in terms of equipment and weapons and ships and everything like that for my players, I'm really glad with the new rules that are in place there, or even uh, just kind of generic stat blocks. If you need to make these yourself, you know, roughly how much health these different ships and mechs should have, how much they cost to purchase. There's just a whole lot more there that you can work with that's going to make your time as a game master much, much easier. And the last major thing that I really want to highlight is the new encounter builder that has been added. Now, 
let me tell you that I have never been good at balancing combat. This is D and D and Veil of the Void, and now the Emberwind game that I'm running. Like I am not good at balancing these things. So if there's something that tells me how to do this easier, I'm going to just get, grab a hold of that and not let go. That is how this game's new combat encounter works, and let me tell you, it has made such a difference in my games. I can confidently say that the last couple of major combat encounters that I've run for my players, I've used these new rules, and everything has worked the way that I wanted it to. Everybody felt that they were adequately challenged, and I had a lot more fun running things. I have a much better sense on how much damage my players can do each uh, on any given round, and I can adjust things on the fly based off of that. If you are somebody that is going to be doing a lot of homebrew, there's also a lot in there in terms of guiding you and making enemies and adversaries for your players to go against so they can feel properly challenged. Uh, this even breaks it down as to what an average enemy is compared to a strong enemy and shows you roughly how long that combat is going to last. Trust me, this is something that you are really going to want to get your hands on. So these are the major takeaways that I have with the Reforged Edition. As I said in the beginning, I believe that this is probably the best version of the game that we have to date. And if you are not playing Veil of the Void, this is a game that I would really recommend that you look into. I really think that it scratches that a uh, little bit of a niche between sci-fi and fantasy, and there is almost limitless storytelling capabilities as a game master. This is a game that I would highly recommend to anybody that's interested in tabletop games. And while it might take a little bit to get used to, you really have all the tools at your disposal now, and I know for a fact they are working on future expansions that will incorporate modules into this moving forward. So that's going to be it. Have you heard of Ale of the Void? Have you played the game originally? Have you checked out the Reforged rules? Is there anything that I miss? You know, don't forget to comment below. Let me know. If you like the video, please give it that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hey, maybe consider subscribing. We talk all kinds of tabletop around here, and maybe we'll get to the games that you like. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.